And we welcome you back to NASCAR Thunder 2004, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here at race 25 to 36 at Talladega Super Speedway. But we're going to be with some twists. One, we're going to be under the lights tonight. Two, we're going to be running through the infield, part of the final race in the infield road course swing. Just like Texas infield, I won the pole for this race. And without last week at Texas infield, I won with a wild battle on Jeff Burton. So um, this is one of my this is probably my favorite track on the game, Talladega infield. I'm beast. I see a car on the racetrack right now. I'm obviously the points leader over Jeff with uh, 520 points over Jeff Gordon. Let's uh, get this started. Stop in the heat, homies. Although you also have to think about the guys closing in behind you. One bad day at the track and you got to start climbing the ladder all over again. Ryan Newman comes to the track with the hopes of maintaining his top five points position. He just needs to keep digging like he has been. Sometimes when drivers reach the top five in points, they start to push themselves too hard on race day and wind up losing spots instead. I'm sure he doesn't want that. Jeff Green might not be a household name, but he's had a lot of success recently in stock cars. But you know, there's no doubt, he won the Bush Series Championship in 2000 by over 600 points, and he's finished runner-up in that series to a couple of talented guys with the names of Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Kevin Harvick. Let's look for all champagne schemes, shall we? Uh huh. Yeah. Kurt Busch has got his 1001 Sharpie paint scheme in this race today. As usual, just by common procedure, we will run the top 10, top 10 in qualifying. As I mentioned in the last part of the NASCAR Thunder 2004 Let's Play, this race, I'm going to be running a throwback scheme. The throwback scheme was a reference to Dale Jr.'s Buddy Baker Babylene paint scheme that he ran at Darlington next last year. One of my all-time favorite throwback paint schemes in NASCAR, behind Jeff Gordon's retro, retro paint scheme. Here we go tonight, Talladega infield. I start on the pole. 14 laps, Tony Stewart on the front row. Green flag into the air, we're racing at Talladega. Infield. This corner right here is just a fun corner just to dick around in. Right here, this time we got to make it through. Compared to 05, there usually is a wreck in this section, by the way, on NASCAR 05. But on 04, do we get through cleanly? Yes, we do. We get through cleanly. As we make our way through the S's, this is probably one of my best tracks on the game. Oh, alright. <laughs> probably fucked up that corner there. Martin to the inside. I'm going to let him by here. The front stretch right here is where you can get a lot of drafting speed. See, we've tried to pull up on Mark Martin, but I'm obviously too far back to do anything unless Tony Stewart tries to push me. I duck to the inside. Martin will lead lap number one. Oh, hard contact. Oh, more contact. Ah, son of a bitch. That happened. 
I got. I clipped Mark Martin and then ass raped Tony Stewart. Oh, shit. Shit. This is not good. This is. You never want to piss Tony Stewart off, by the way. Ah. Crap. Tony Stewart is not the... Okay, Tony's going to run me up the racetrack. Ah, shit. Oh, fucking shit. You know what happens when I say this is one of my best racetracks? I get... I almost get wrecked by Mark Martin and Tony Stewart, and you fall to 15. A lap in. This is embarrassing. Jump to the inside. Tony Stewart's pissed off at me, by the way. See me jump to the inside of Junior. Whoa, airtime. How about a little Tokyo Drift? A little bit of Tokyo Drift through that corner. What we learned today. Oh crap, contact, Sterling Marlin. Contact there. Whoa, Sterling, bud. Is he pitting? He just slowed up and Junior might have gotten into the back of him. I can't tell, but anyways, we got a six car breakaway at the front of the field. Yes. On 05, this section here, there always seems to be a wreck here. And if you have to start at the back, you usually have to go through it. Wow, I'm, this was the same guy that ass raped me in the back. Homie, I got kicked, that's what I'm paying them for. <laughs> and see, the leader up front is Mark Martin. If this was a normal Talladega race, him getting by himself... Running by himself is not a good idea. Because you usually have to have drafting help here at Talladega, but at Talladega Infield, running by yourself at this place is just fun. Let me try to... Ah, damn it, Tony. Why did you have to break? Why did you have to hit the fucking brakes, Tony Stewart? Fuck. Why did you have to hit the damn brakes? Why you wanna count in that God, I can't even race around rivals, apparently, so I'll just piss them all off. Oh, yeah, yeah. Might want to give him some time to cool off here. Damn. Well, I'm not honoring Buddy Baker's legacy because I'm tearing the shit out of this car. Or, it was Kale Yabro. Because he ran the Babylon, used to drive the Babylon cars, see some cars on. That came out of Pit Road. As the top five in front of me look to go single file. Drop to the inside of Gordon. Cross over in front of Steve Park. Oh, Craven almost turns me. Damn it. Damn it, Ricky Craven. As we try to pull and close the distance to Mark Martin. I have not led any laps at all today. As I suck up to Mark Martin. He was the first guy I got into. Remember, I'm going to pit. Oh, okay, Mark. I think it's cool to break check someone in the corner. I swear to God, if he fucking blocks me, I'm going to kill him. Ow. Yeah, let's stand the car into the wall a couple... Oh, wow. What? The fuck? God damn. Oh my god. Just repair the fucking car. I hit the corner, spin around, ricochet into Steve Park. Shit. Watch right here. Oh! Huge contact for Steve Park. 
Watch right here. I hit the corner. I was just trying to keep it straight. I didn't realize Steve Park was right there. That is bullshit. Yeah, I'm kidding. No. That's why someone was dicking with the wedge, is because I got so goddamn loose. What the fuck? Something happened. I did not touch the wedge before this race. Alright, pit. Prepare this fucking car. No tires, I just want gas. Come on, let's go. Come on, guys. Good stop. Good stop. Great stop. How about that? Don't know why I stopped. I was kind of retarded. Oh, this ought to be fun. Ivy starts 17th. Green flag into the air. Is Chase Montgomery seriously up in the top 15? Shit. A lot of guys stayed out. Nemechek, Kenny Wallace, Christian Fittipaldi. Three wide on Nemechek and Kenny Wallace for position here. How about that? I just take sharp corner to the inside. Five to go here this afternoon. Oh, more contact. I'm beating on Elliot Sadler. Drum, drive right up to the inside. Look at me sucking up on Ward Burton. Jump to the inside of him. Inside of Kevin Harvick. Inside of Bobby Labonte. There's going to be some contact here between me and Matt Kenseth. Hide the ears was a fucking break right here, man. Drop to the inside of Sterling Marlin. I take third. Three to go. Gordon and Stewart are in front of me. Stewart's going to block. My goal is I'm going to have to use to either help Tony or jump to the inside. But I'm getting, I'm pushing up right here. And I'm pushing up hard. God. Look at me sucking up on uh, Stewart there. I pit, had a run in with him at Bristol. He's not the guy to piss off. Tony Stewart is not the dude to piss off on the racetrack. Trust me, many drivers have learned. I'm learning in this let's play. Don't piss him off. Oh, contact. Stewart up into the wall. I hit the wall with him. It's like synchronized hitting the wall. If the caution were to come out here, if the caution were to come out right here, this race would end, so everyone's giving it all they've got, and I'm even giving this car all I've got right now, driving in deep. Gordon still holds the lead. Wow, I drove it in deep right there in turn one. Two to go. Gordon leads. Stewart looks to the inside. He doesn't have much help. Let's try to draft with Stewart to lower the uh, anger level. In Never mind. Inside is Stewart for a second. Can I get Gordon with the pass on the inside outside? Oh, into the wall, hard. Stewart to the inside, that's all he needed. Stewart leads it, Dick at Talladega. Look at me pushing him. I'm pushing his ass. Here we go, three car breakaway, and it could be a three car fight for the win right here. Oh, caution's out. Do I drop to the inside? 
damn it. Another caution. What happened? The race is over here. Oh, Junior. Junior into the wall. Jeff Burton gets in to him. So, like, Jimmy Johnson gave both of them some help. Oh, hard contact. Wait, did I pass Tony? Fuck. Whatever. I'll take it. Apparently I win. After getting a wreck with Steve Park and trying to... And almost wrecking Mark Martin and Tony Stewart. How about this? Wow. Huh. That's weird. Because I was behind Stewart. He was right about here. I tried making that move. But apparently the game gave me the win. I don't, I don't care. I'll take it. Look at me dive to the inside. That's my line here. Oh. Wow. Ah. I don't know how I didn't wreck there. I get in the... I got in the wall right there, almost right grabbing Gordon. He was pitting, he didn't have a problem. That's why he peeled off. Huh. More you know. Look at me. I'd use Kenza to push him off the racetrack. And then this is... Oh! Hard hit for Burton. Well, um, how about another one? Another one. God, where's DJ Khaled? You need him. How about that? Minus, minus 46 for Tony Stewart, minus 40 for Steve Park, minus 6 for Mark Martin, and minus 38 for Robbie Gordon. I win today's race at Talladega under caution, apparently. Tony Stewart finishes second, Jeff Gordon third, Mark Martin fourth, Sterling Marlin fifth. Michael Walter 6th, Matt Kenza 7th, Bobby Labonte 8th, Ricky Craven 9th, and Ryan Newman 10th. To the Ezai, the Wizard. Getting so good. All right, let's look at the points. Back-to-back -back wins, by the way. I come to Richmond, so it's one of my favorite racetracks. Remember, I won the spring. Could I sweep, sweep at Richmond? 525-point lead over Gordon. Better hope Gordon qualifies badly here. So the next race is going to be at Richmond International Raceway for race 26 and 36 for the running of the Chevrolet Rock and Roll, Rock and Roll 400. One of my favorite racetracks on the NASCAR circuit. We'll see you then. Gangsta Boo.